my stuff. None of my stuff was taken out of my van, which is like pretty awesome. Yeah, I filled up my tank just now because my tank went from a quarter to uh, it was on E, the light on. So it's probably most likely taking me for a joy ride. Uh, and then when the cops found it, it's probably just deserted. Moral of the story is be more cautious, always keep your keys with you, and try to lock the van. I have a lot of stuff, but if I don't keep everything on me that I don't want to get stolen, just probably lock the van too. So just keep my keys in. I had a rule when I first started that the keys stay with me at all times, and I got a little curious. That's what happened.
This is terrific. The meat's falling right off the bone. Vegetables have the right amount of salt. The rice is the right amount of spice. I got the brown chicken stew. up right now when I wash up um, and I do my legs and stuff I take my pants off I use the pants of the seat cover I sit on it as I'm washing my legs and stuff in my lower body that's uh, one of my tricks I think one of the reasons the homeless problem is like such a difficult one to solve is because the people who are trying to solve it have never walked a day in the people that they're trying to help shoes. So how can they relate to those people? Um, you know, how can you understand what people need and how to help people if you've never walked a day in their shoes? 
took my car to the mechanic yesterday. Um, I had a couple things wrong. My engine's older, so it's burning oil, and I was really low on oil. Um, almost to the point of the engine, you know, if I'd driven it more, could have locked up. Could have had to get a whole new engine, which would have been horrible. <clears throat> the worst thing probably that could happen. Um, one of my cylinders got, like, burnt out, and it was just not even being used. So I was running on one less cylinder than it's supposed to be running on. And he replaced the bad cylinder that was burnt out with the other ones. I'm probably going to replace next week. Um, and then the last mechanic I went to told me that the belt around the alternator, um, or that connects to the alternator, it, it uh, the, the circular, uh, gear belt that connects to the alternator he suggested that because he told me it was cracked he suggested that i only drive the car for so many thousand miles like ten thousand or something i don't even know um and i should have like i shouldn't drive it more than ten thousand or else uh, that's probably gonna break because it was he said it was like cracked and it was uh worn or whatever and it wasn't gonna last that long that was the last mechanic i went to before the one from yesterday the one from yesterday noticed that my belt wasn't on correctly and it was like one notch like off so it wasn't it, the whole surface area of the belt wasn't being used uh when it as it was connected to the alternator which was like you know that's susceptible to it breaking because the same amount of force is going into the belt but the whole belt is not using all of its strength material strength i think um and it could like that, that could cause it to break over time and like it's it seems like the last mechanic set me up for my belt to fail and thought that there was a chance that i might go back to him and he might get some extra money that's pretty fucking shady and mechanics do that kind of stuff um he didn't charge me very much for switching out my alternator um and he was willing to work with me so like it wasn't that terrible of a deal even though he that happened to my belt and the belt isn't the most expensive it's not very expensive to fix uh relative to other parts so next week get uh you know new cylinders probably uh a new belt because the belt's been running um even though it's been running even though it's, it hasn't been hooked up correctly so it's it's partly damaged according to the mechanic i talked to yesterday um so yeah i mean what's important i think is just always using every repair opportunity as an opportunity to learn so you're more likely to catch things uh shady things that mechanics will do if they assume that your knowledge uh isn't as much as it is and then also just knowing things for yourself uh you know just knowledge is always good